Hello, I'd just like to make a short video on uh, one of my pet snakes. I'd like to introduce you to Billy. Billy is a red-bellied black snake from Australia. He's about nine years old, six foot long. I'm not too sure how heavy he is. He's been born and raised in captivity, so he's pretty quiet, as you can see. Nice and friendly. He's in the same family as the cobra. Well, we don't get cobras here in Australia, but he would be the closest to a cobra we'd get. He has the same characteristics, same venom, the same size they grow to. When they go in their defensive posture, they stand up like a cobra. He's a male, obviously, so he's... The males grow a bit bigger than the females do. Most red bellies are a lot more red than this guy. He's uh, a lot more pale. As you can see, the red goes up the side, so it's pretty easy to, to tell them when you see them. He's got the big scales. He kills his prey with venom, so he doesn't have to wrap around them like a pythons do. Pythons have a lot smaller scales, so they can, uh, they can bend a lot easier. As you can see, he's pretty rigid when I hold him up. Whereas a python can wrap, wrap right around my hand for no problems. He's not very good at climbing because of his big scales. He's mainly made for being on the ground. As you can see, he has big belly scales. They like swimming, they hang around water a lot. Beautiful snake. My favourite snake. Have been for a long time. I think you can see why. They eat nearly anything. I only feed him rats and mice. I find that if you feed them a variety of food, they tend to be a little bit more adventurous when you handle them and they uh, will try to taste other things. See, he's giving a few little hisses now. He's getting a little bit annoyed. But he has a good tolerance to handling that a lot of snakes don't like to be handled. I think he likes to be handled because he gets out of his enclosure and gets to see new things. Like a dog always likes to go for a walk out, see what's on the other side of the fence. Beautiful nature, yes.
in the wild they eat a lot of frogs and um, about 20 years ago uh, they almost got wiped out where I live because of the cane toads but um, lately I'm starting to see a lot of them which is really good I've, I saw three in two days so it means that they're over learn not to eat the cane toads but I've also noticed the ones that I saw 20 years ago uh, were a lot calmer in the wild um, the ones I see now are very defensive as soon as they see you they uh, they stand up like a cobra and they um, they're going to the defense mode and uh, I think maybe that might be why that they're uh, coming back in numbers too, so. Which I think is a good thing. Better have snakes than to have cane toads. Trying to get in my shoe. I don't think Billy would do very good in the wild. I'm sure he'd be able to catch his food, but he's not scared of any humans. He's not scared of dogs or anything like that too, so I really don't think he'd do very well in the wild. a little bit active now. But you have to admit, it's a beautiful sight. I'm going to let him have a bit of a crawl around now. <laughs> 